What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the uh, Cam Talbot situation in New York as the backup 28-year-old former University of Alabama Huntsville star has stepped up admirably and is playing some great hockey in the absence of King Henrik. Now, a lot of it, and this is no disrespect to either Talbot or Lundqvist, but when you get guys like Ryan McDonough and Mark Stahl and you know Dan Girardi playing in front of you, you know <laughs> it's pretty tough to get some high-quality scoring chances. So. Uh, the defense is a big reason why, but I think he's a really talented goalie. You know, he's a big kid. He's about six three, six four. Takes away a lot of the net, um, and has really filled in very, very well for the Rangers, and is keeping them very much a factor in the Metropolitan Division chase. When Lundqvist comes back, whether that's in a week, two weeks, two days for the playoffs, whatever, it's his net. I mean, he's one of the best goalies in hockey. He's phenomenal. You know, he does a lot of great things that allows the Rangers to play with confidence and you know, he'll, he'll bring you to the Stanley Cup final last year, so, you know, let's not knock King Hank. Um, but what, I, given the New York media, given the way they've been able to turn on players really quickly, if the Rangers were to go down 0-2 in the first round, or Henrik got lit up in game one or something, they're gonna be clamoring on you know, let's get, you know, let's, let's start Talbot. I wouldn't do it. You, you ride or die with Henrik. Now, beyond this season, I say you capitalize on Talbot's trade value. You know, you ride him while he's hot, and then, you know, come the draft, if a team like Edmonton, you know, or, or Dallas or whoever is looking for a goalie, you, you got this card to play. You know, you can flip him and, uh, you know, get some assets back and address other areas in need. Lundqvist isn't getting any younger. He just turned 33 last week. Happy belated, Henrik, by the way. Uh, but... You know, you got to do what you got to do to ensure you have a competitive team. They signed Henrik long term. They believe he's going to be the one that gets it done when it matters in New York. And, uh, you know, I think, to be honest with you, they made the right choice. I mean, as good as Talbot's been, he's a, you know, what's he got? 50 games in the NHL under his belt. Lundqvist has been a Vesna winner, been an MVP candidate before, brought you to the Stanley Cup final. He's the guy you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna win it, you're gonna win it with him. So I, I think again, when he comes back from the injury, there's gonna be a big thing psychologically, you know, having to t take a shot off that area again. But I think Lundqvist is a strong enough guy mentally and has the physical tools to be like, all right, let's do this, let's get it done. You know, the Rangers, ha this Rangers team knows that it's unfinished business from last year. The East is tougher than it's been in a while. But, you know, I still think they're very much a threat. And, you know, King Henrik is a big reason why. The king of New York, as they call him. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But, again, I, I like what Talbot's doing. I like the way he stepped up. But he's not the long-term answer in New York. I think the Rangers will capitalize on his assets and, um, you know, take care of business when it, when it matters most. Anyway, that's all I got sort of the power play with CJ on uh, Cam Talbot's future in New York. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.